everyone and welcome to Homestead Tessie and I'm Tessie and welcome to my home. I'm going to share with you how I can some chocolate syrup. This is a perfect time of the year to be canning chocolate syrup. It can last for many years and it's a great as a gift item. So stay tuned. and welcome to Homestead Tessie and my name is Tessie and today I'm going to share with you how I can my chocolate syrup. I think this video is long awaited for so many people. They have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this video and finally we're at the time of the year where I can my chocolate syrup. Now I have to give a disclaimer this is not USDA approved but in my humble opinion the sugar content in this chocolate syrup would be justified for canning. Now this is not my recipe but a recipe of many others that I have known. Please use your own discretion if you are not interested in canning this chocolate syrup you can also make it to store in your refrigerator and it would last in your refrigerator six to eight weeks. But I can it. I've had it canned for many years I've had some canned that are over two years old and they're just as good as your Hershey's syrup that you get in the store. So let's get started. The recipe I am going to double. The first thing we're going to do is add three cups of water to our kettle. And then we're going to add six cups of sugar. To that we're going to add 4 tablespoons of honey. Now remember I am doubling this recipe. This You can make it the same way if you don't want to can it. It's the exact same recipe and I would not double it if you're not going to can it and you can keep it in your refrigerator. This is great for chocolate milk. It's great to make chocolate icing with it. It's also great to put a couple tablespoons in your favorite brownie mix. The possibilities are endless with this chocolate syrup. It is so diverse, very good consistency, very nice. It, I just really love it. It's one of my favorite recipes. And then we're going to add one half of sea salt. So one half teaspoon of sea salt. And two tablespoons of vanilla. that we're going to add three cups of cocoa. And that is all my friends. We're going to whisk it together and we're going to heat it on the stove until it cuts really hot and liquefy. We're going to pour it into our half pint. You can use a pint or half pint. Now it looks rather thin but I want to tell you that it thickens as it sits and also when you put it in the refrigerator it will make it really nice and thick. So I'm just going to finish it up here. You want to get your water boiling. It want you to have a really good boil when you put your jars in. And we are going to can this for 15 to 20 minutes. 
So we're going to wipe off our rims. We're going to get a hot lid because we're not pressure canning, so you always want to heat your lids, especially if you're not pressure canning. And there you go, my friends. It's really neat gift, and it's a staple here in my pantry, and it has been for many years. And I think once you try it, you're never going to buy store-bought again. A great gift. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're out of when it's out of the canner. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye! watching my videos. Take care and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!